Many gardeners in Prince George grow tomatoes in a greenhouse. However, it is possible to grow some varieties successfully outside. If you are planting tomatoes outside, it is best to choose smaller fruiting varieties such as a cherry tomato or early girl, or purchase seeds or plants from local gardeners. PG Perg is planting some tomatoes in their raised beds at the gardens at UMBC. Be sure to prep your beds with lots of compost when planting. When planting tomatoes, it is important to break up the roots by lightly massaging the soil and root mass. Plant deep into the soil to help grow a strong plant. Once planted, be sure to give plants lots of water while they establish themselves in their new home. Vining plants like vine tomatoes, cucumbers, and peas need supports in order to grow properly and happily. Staking allows your cucumbers, tomatoes, and peas to grow vertically instead of laterally, which saves you space in the garden, and it also makes the plant healthier, happier, and keeps your fruit from going moldy. So if you grow tomatoes, you know that they can take quite a long time to grow from their flower to a fully ripe fruit. But you can actually have the, time, the amount of time that they spend on the vine by picking them when they first start to turn color. Tomato fruits have two growing stages. They have the first stage where they're fully green and they are growing just to size. Once they fully grow to their mature size, they will start to gradually ripen and change color into that beautiful red or orange or yellow, depending on your tomato variety, color that you want for a fresh fruit. But as soon as you get that first hint of color, you can actually pull that tomato off the vine and it will ripen just as well off the vine as it would have if you had left it on the plant. This can help you pull tomatoes that are growing too closely to the first frost state.